viewers, welcome to Ajira. Well, today I must say I'm very much excited because I'll be talking to Mr. Larry Jacobs who owns this shop called Atmosphere. The shop does not only serve as a workshop but also serves as a gallery. Join me in this exciting episode as we get to learn more about the art business. Uh, my name is Larry Jacob and this is the Atmosphere Collective located in Kitengela at Milele Center. And um, we deal with shoe customization, um, customized paintings and artworks for people. So that's portraits and everything art actually. Graphic design as well. Um, we also um, deal with a mentorship program for young artists who are interested in whatever field that they are in. Hi. Hello. So I'm Miss Mulinge Edna, and today I'm visiting you with a show called Ajira. Ajira is a show that mainly deals with featuring business owners. They get to tell us their stories so that someone out there can get motivated by your story. So let's start by with your name. All right. Thank you very, very much. I'm very honored to be part of this feature. Uh, my name is Larry Jacob Wafula. Um, born and raised here. Um, I studied art in school and um, you are currently in my small humble art shop. Um, we go by the name the Atmosphere Collective and a collective because we believe in unison of various artists because we understand the challenges of being an artist. I've been an artist all my life. I really enjoy playing with color, painting, you know. So. Um, and it all started like way before when I was very, very young. At least I had the privilege of having parents who could motivate me in my passion. So I did art school uh, right after high school. I went to Kenyatta University and did uh, fine arts. And um, after finishing school, uh, became the whole journey of, ah, what can I do with my art now? Where, sh where should I start? Where should I go? So with the little information that we were impacted in school, um, I saw the best way possible, like the turning point for me was just start something, you know, and of course through the grace of God, um, things are going well, you know, we understand we were smack in the middle of a pandemic, but regardless, um, we try what we can, and I personally believe art is, is very fulfilling, you know, it's very inspirational, it's very moving. So I really, I'm happy about what I'm, what I'm doing, you know. Hopefully this is a beginning of a beautiful journey. I've been dreaming about this all my life. Yes. Dear viewers, you've heard it from Mr. Larry Jacobs. To be in this art business, you must be passionate about it. So let's get to hear what inspired him to venture into the art business. So Mr. Larry, yes. what inspired you to start this art business? Oh man. Um, other than the love of art, I would say just the struggles of being an artist, you know? And also, I really believe in, um, in, in giving back to the society with whatever little that you can or, what, or that, that the Lord has been able to give to you. So personally, um, so my parents uh, have a children's home. So I have been brought up in a children's home called Bridges Centre Children's Home. That's located in Isinya momentarily and um, uh, just growing up and seeing uh, underprivileged people or people who are struggling you know especially my age um, it really moves you to, to 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 try and maximize on what you have or what God has given you to your utmost potential you see so um, as a child I used to see like my friends who would draw maybe cartoons uh, on, on their drawing books, you know, or maybe um, they'd come over and they'd talk about maybe a video game that they had and I would always try and replicate it, you see? So, and just slowly by slowly, you know, um, my seniors were like, hey, I love what you're doing, you're doing good work, you should continue. So that also inspired me and gave me um, the motivation to keep going, you know, and just keep urging forward regardless of the many, many challenges that are there. Yeah, being an artist is not easy. I feel like um, you have to go almost against the tide most of the times. But um, yes, it's a blessing and I really thank God for giving me the grace and the serenity to be able to, 
to do what we can with our hands. Yes. Well, that's such an interesting story, viewers, from Mr. Larry. How many times do you remember to give back to the community, dear viewers? So let's get to understand the line of business of Mr. Larry here in Kitengela town. So, Mr. Larry, would you mind explaining to us your business, like the type of art? Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, like I said, um, this is Atmosphere Collective. So, it's a collective of artists or various artists with who use different media to um, to to finesse their work. And at at the shop momentarily, we're doing shoe customization. I can give you an example. Um, so we majorly work with um, commissioned work. So someone has a shoe maybe that they really love, and they're like, "Hey, um, there's there's an artist collective in Kitengela who can revamp our shoe for us." So we take shoes, we put artwork on them, um, and it's all washable. And after that, uh, we package it all proper um, with a touch of our shop um, and um, uh, from there we are able to you know make some profit from it you see with the work of our hands so other than shoe customization which is mostly by commission which um, people bring in their shoes and they're like okay would like for you to work on this because um, momentarily we don't have the platform to say per se, to, to acquire a lot of shoes and do work on them. So for the sake of, um, of playing it um, wise from a business perspective, um, people bring in what they have, we work on them, and then we give them back to them. So other than that, we're also doing um, mentorship programs in our shop, and we're, mentorship, uh, we're mentoring um, young artists in our community. Uh, who are doing various things, from beadwork to, to comic design, to graphic design, um, to painting and illustrations, to pencil drawings. So anyone who feels like, hey, um, I'm creative with my hands and this is what I want to do, how can we come together as a community or as artists who, who experience similar problems and are from the same you know, um, community, how can we take what we have and make it better? Yeah, and I, I personally believe um, two is greater than one. Um, so yeah, other than that, uh, we also do paintings, um, in-house paintings and, um, and drawings. So like portrait paintings and drawings for people, but mostly under commission work. So someone comes to you like, hey, I would like this and this and this and you send an invoice, you figure out what sort of media they would like it done in, whether it's like a painting or a, like a pencil drawing, how big would they want it, and um, yes. So apart from Mr. Larry putting his artwork for business purposes, he also does it to mentor other people out there. So let's get to hear what made, what made him become a mentor. Huh. Um. I would say, so, so first of all, growing up in, 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 a, in a children's home, in that sort of setup, you understand the value of, of, of um, your, like how, like um, just the directive of people who have more, either information or, you know. And um, to me, that really impacted me, you see? And um, I believe, I personally believe that as an artist and as a Christian, um, giving back to the society really matters. You know, like how are you helping your neighbor? And um, so yeah, and other than that was just the love of art, you know, just the love of interacting with people and being able to learn from them as well, you know, because they're doing something, creativity, I believe the more you use it, the more you have, you see? So it's just, it's always a blessing to me. Like it's just something I'm really passionate about and my heart just fills with joy whenever I, I am around artists or I indulge around creative people, you see? So the whole mentorship program just started by having um, mentors myself, 
people I could look up to and be able to find a sense of direction in a positive light with what I'm doing. So I just have to thank God that um, I can harness whatever he has granted me with to be able to help my fellow brothers and sisters out there. Yeah. So Larry, you say that you're a mentor. Let's say for example, someone is out there and is motivated by your work and the person would really love to join your mentorship program. So what does one need or what's the procedure of joining the mentorship program? Um, you just, I don't, I don't think it's too complicated. You just have to have interest in what you're doing. If you have the interest in it, then anyone can, can do it, you know? And um, I don't know, the, the term mentor seems so heavy, you know? I believe I'm a helper. Um, so yeah, so, if, so what happens is we majorly deal with people in our community because those are the people who are first hand on ground closest to what we're doing. So, so artists come over and they present their, their, their pieces and what, and what they'd like um, to pursue. And um, we have a conversation on how we can help them or what they would like to be helped with. And we just do what we can. So majorly, it's literally just giving back to society. There's like no charges for nothing. No, um, I guess the only qualification is just you, is your interest. You know, do you want to do this? Are you interested in doing this? If you are, then come on, let's work together. You know, let's see how we can improve on each other's skill set. What motivates your art? Like, before starting any drawing, yes. what do you look at? Oh man, art, art, oh, art is very powerful, you see? So for me, um, I'd say just the ability to create like something to like, con like um, to change something plain, you know, in a sense, and convert it to a completely aesthetic, you know, new piece, you know? To me, that's very therapeutic. Um, I, I really, I really appreciate um, just getting into a zone of what you love and being able to com to create something completely different with the initial design. You see, um, and other than that, is also um, I just love colors, man. I just love playing with color and creating you know so if it's something that's inborn and you love doing um i feel like uh, you, it won't be such a struggle coming out but uh, before working on an art piece i would say um, a lot motivates me it's the people around me you know it's it could be the client's persona maybe they're a very jovial person and you're like ah oh, you know what from just who you are as a person, I was able to create this. It could be what I'm feeling at the time, you know. Um, it could be what I read the night before or what I saw on television. So a lot of things invoke creativity and I wouldn't pinpoint it to one specific thing like, hey, this is what gets me up in the morning. And that's majorly just the love of art, personally, yes. This is such a beautiful pair, Converse All Star rebranded. So, Larry, would yes. you mind telling me something about this show? Yes, I would love telling you something about this show. Um, man, so this show is for a good friend of mine. Um, he works in aviation, he's a pilot. So, they were actually all like beat up and brown, you know? So, um, I saw that. I would want to incorporate something that he does and be able to like help it manifest on his shoe. So um, it's still in progress, but I just wanted you to like walk you over um, like the artistic progress of what goes on, let's say on a shoe. So since he's, an, since he's a pilot, um, I thought like putting an origami, which is the, an origami bird, which is like um, a bird, you know, in, on paper, folded in paper form, and put that there, you know, just to sort of like link what he does to the shoe as well, and also just 
lay in some color you know because he wanted something that was kind of bold yet subtle at the same time so we decided to go with like a matte black and also just add some color on the side so most of our finished products because for now this is like a workstation uh, are online on our instagram page which is the underscore atmosphere underscore collective and that's it so but other than that um yeah man i'm really excited to finish this i'm very very happy about it and i love the way it's coming out and i'm sure he'll love it as well oh thank you very very much i appreciate it mm -hmm.